Now, gas prices just continue to hover around record levels in our country. And this week, the leaders of many of the nation's energy companies are going to be testifying in front of Congress. So is there anything more expected out of Washington to bring, to bring relief at the pump? Here's our Washington correspondent, Joe St. George. If you're anything like me by now, you're sick of the stories, sick of the sounds, tired of the numbers and the signs that take money out of your pocket. You're especially sick of walks down memory lane. Remember when gas was under $2 a gallon in April of 2020? What you're likely sick of the most is a lack of action from Washington when it comes to the high price of gasoline, but that could be changing soon. There isn't enough supply. To be clear, Washington has done some things in the last few days. President Biden has pledged to release 1 million barrels of oil a day for 180 days from the nation's petroleum reserve. And Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg announced on Friday a plan to increase fuel efficiency standards in all new cars beginning in 2024. So far, though, those announcements have only moved the markets marginally. So what additional options do lawmakers have? Option number one, pressure oil executives to produce more oil and limit profits this week on Wednesday, the leaders of Shell, BP, Chevron, as well as ExxonMobil are expected to testify on Capitol Hill, with Democrats planning to push their companies to do more to lower the cost. Option number two, fine oil companies for not drilling. The president has called on Congress to penalize businesses that have leases to drill or frack on federal land, but currently are not. Energy companies have pushed back, saying not every location is capable of producing oil, and as a result, this idea is looking less likely to make it through a divided Senate. Option number three, a gas tax holiday or rebates. One Democratic idea is to send $100 a month to every American making under 75000 for the rest of the year, as long as gas is above $4. But that idea still lacks the necessary support on Capitol Hill, with some preferring a suspension of the federal gas tax instead, which is 18 cents a gallon. But listen to what Speaker Nancy Pelosi has to say about that. The con is that the oil companies do not necessarily pass that on to the consumer. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George.